Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent. Recently IT Das, the supplier of these Nexions, announced a new version, the Enhanced Nexion. And some of my viewers asked me about my opinion. So I thought I buy one and look at it. People watching my channel know that I have a few Nexion displays and I did two videos about them. They are very nice devices and they save you a lot of time when you do your graphical user interfaces. So I can change the password, save and you see there is no connection to the microcontroller. Of course, this is not what we want. We want to have the microcontroller in charge, but this is just a demonstration. Now I showed you in my two videos how to connect them to Arduinos or to ESPs and they work quite fine. Today it arrived in the mail and I also ordered the expansion board or extension board we will look at it later but here is the display and because I have already the small ones I ordered a bigger ones this is the biggest one the 7 inch uh, monitor and it costed $88 I have to admit it was very fast shipped I do not think they shipped it with normal China mail It's nice looking, it's huge compared with the old one. But of course this was less than 20 or about $20 and this is 90, nearly $90. So the same thing here, just connect this one here and connect it to 5 volts. Again here there is no connection to a microcontroller. And you see the very similar display because I put the same application on both devices. Now this does not look very bright because it is protected and I have to unprotect it now. Now we have our nice and expensive next-gen display. Now we want to see whether it's worthwhile to pay a premium for the enhanced version. Let's try this one out. It works exactly the same and I can again save the new password. Of course it's much nicer here because the relationship between my finger and the display size is much more convenient on a large one than on a small one. But now the problem starts. It has no actual time. So let's look at the back of the display. And here we see several components, much more components than uh, on this one here. But familiar, the same SD card reader and here we have also a battery holder. So I think I have to enter a battery here. Now the first disappointment no battery supplied. Small thing but it is a CR1220 and unfortunately I have many batteries but my, many coin cell batteries but I don't have this one so I have to go to the next shop and get one. A car drive later I have my CR1220 battery. Now I have to put it in and just uh, for people who do not know there are scissors around for left-handers. Very, very comfortable. Now we want to see whether it works. But I have no clue how to enter the actual time. And the current time is incorrect due to a lack of battery. Maybe, maybe not. 
there is a battery inside here. So maybe we have to reset it. It does not help, so I have no clue whether the battery is really useful or not. Now we are a little later and I try again to restart the module. And you see, at least it keeps the time. So I think the RTC is working. Because I did not find any possibilities to enter the actual time, I just started up the HMI file in the Nexion editor to check how it works. So we see page zero, the splash screen, page one to enter the passcode, page two to change the passcode, and page three the confirmation. There are no more pages here, so it is not foreseen in this demonstration application to set the RTC time on the Nexion display. By the way, here you see the native programming of the Nexions. They use their own language. And this is how the application I showed you is programmed. Now we learned already that there is an RTC in this enhanced version of the Nexion. But what else changed? I saw that the clock frequency of the CPU is much higher for the larger screens, bigger than 3.5 inches. Whether this changes anything on normal applications, I have no idea because I do not have a comparable big size screen of the standard edition. It has also more memory for larger screens. I think this will help if you want to do complex applications or many pictures. Then the real-time clock we already discussed. And then it has also 1024-byte EEPROM, which should be readable also from the microprocessor. Now, whether this is valuable or not depends very much on your application, because most of the, uh, the current microcontrollers also have some EEPROMs built in. And then the expansion board. It has a beeper, it has an LED, and one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. And here you have eight GPIO pins. It is connected through a ribbon cable to the Nexion display. Now let's power it up and look what happens. Nothing at all. No LED, no beeper, no reaction to the buttons here. So this application clearly does not support the ex expansion board. Just to look at the current consumption, the actual demo application uses a little bit more than 500 milliampere at 5 volt. And by the way, the 5 volt on the expansion board is not 5 volt, it's only 3.3 volt. Because the whole internal supply of the Nexion anyway is 3.3 volt. Now we look at the support for this enhanced model. So let's go to the project. And here we find the Nexion HMI solution. If we look very close, we find here in the next instruction set, view more details. And here we find the instruction set. Now, if we search here for enhanced, we find some information about the EEPROM and about the GPIO and maybe also about the RTC. Now, let's go into the EEPROM. And here we see the low-level commands to be used for these models. Today I have no time to go into the details. Now this is the library I used in my projects 
let's just check about the commits and we see here this is all old stuff for sure there is nothing updated for the enhanced mode so here we cannot expect any help summarized what do i think about the next gen enhanced models the enhanced model is very similar to the standard one and can be programmed just as the standard one with the exception of the extensions the price difference for the 7 inch display is about $13 the difference for the smaller models is also a little bit smaller as with the old next gen there is not a lot of information around and it is quite complicated to use it this is the reason why I did my two tutorials and many viewers came back and uh, said thank you because it helped them really to use the next gens. The Arduino library is not updated so you are on your own if you want to use the enhanced functions. The information is available but it's not easy to be used. Whether you need an RTC, additional GPIOs or additional EEPROM decides if this enhanced model is valuable for you. I have no idea for a project using the expansion board. Maybe you? Just leave a comment. My verdict? Buy the standard version as long as you do not have a clear need and have a lot of confidence that you will master the low-level stuff. IT makes great products like the NextGen or the Sonoff. This is why I do not understand why their supporting documentation is so bad. Maybe they watch this video and change their behavior. I would be glad to do a tutorial for the using of the extended functionality. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye!